at it. As you can see, long day. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Rookie of the year. I'm going to get that. Bet that. All right. So, hard to do a whole lot of goddamn reacting. I'm letting y'all see a little too much, but it is what it is. They don't let y'all see. Um, real as it get over here. Pimp. Right, so if you were to combine the convenience of caller ID and the monitoring capabilities of a security system, you would end up with the ring doorbell camera. Invent this is how I'm supposed to have it right here. I already set up talking to you guys. I'm supposed to cut the first part out. Half of the videos I did, I'm not. Whenever I start doing that, I am. You feel me? I make edits and shit, but to certain shit. Word. But anyway, we're getting back to it. Boom. All right. Ricky of the year. I'm going to learn how to do more edits and stuff. You know, the best software to use and just like that. How to put my little tags here and there and take other people's watermark off. I try to use videos without other people's watermark. But other than that, yeah, we can get it in. Let's go. In 2013, this device has gone on to become a staple in residential, state-of-the-art security systems, and with good reason, as the Ring Cam's motion-detecting features picks up any type of unexpected visitor, whether their intentions are good or bad. The popularity of this camera's installation in various homes across the country has allowed individuals to capture footage of some truly disturbing man is seen prowling around their backyard, but they seem to just have a case of wanderlust since the intruder doesn't seem to want to break into the house, nor do they check any unlocked windows or doors for a potential entryway. Instead, the mystery man is seen walking around and exploring the various trails and outskirts of the property. The reason this instance is so unsettling is because the Reddit user mentions they live in the mountains, about three miles from any type of neighbor or form of civilization. This means that the visitor in the video would have had to walk an incredibly long distance through the woods, completely naked in the middle of the night to arrive at his destination. The mystery man leaves shortly after doing some laps around the property and is never seen or heard from again. He might have needed Number help. two, no new friends. He this recent help. video involves a former police needed? officer and a school teacher who seems to be under the influence of some type of substance as her behavior is incredibly aggressive and manic-like. The teacher in the video seems to be suffering from a case of mistaken identity as she repeatedly tells the retired police officer and homeowner that her friend is inside the house. Okay. She doesn't take no for an answer when she is repeatedly told that she is at the wrong home and her friend doesn't live there and to leave the property. After making her verbal pleas and crying out for her invisible friend inside, she begins vandalizing and ripping off the screens from the windows in a further attempt to invade the residence. Rather than using her own personal firearm to protect herself, the homeowner calls the police who arrive at the scene while the woman is still wandering around the parameter of the home. When questioned, you can really tell the woman believes her friend is inside the home and it becomes clear she is suffering from some type of drug-induced episode. She is arrested shortly afterwards and the homeowner didn't have to resort to taking matter into their own hands. The situation could have resulted in a much more grim ending for the school teacher. But it is this moment that had Paul fear for her life. An experience that brought this retired police officer to tears. I came very close to shooting her. And I don't think she or her family realized that. I mean, it's something nobody wants to do. Seconds after Paul told the woman she was armed with a gun, she is seen walking away as police are pulling up. Hi. Hi. Do you live here? No, I don't. So why are you banging on the door? Because my friend was there. According to Fresno Police, that woman is 30-year-old Hannah Nakagawa, a resident of Fresno and, according to the police yeah. report, a teacher for Fresno Unified well, School District. Authorities lady. believe Nakagawa was you under the me. influence of alcohol. She was arrested for vandalism and released to a friend at police headquarters with a citation and promised to appear in court. Why Number would three, the hell you do that under to your wraps. Friend, Mama a third and, in my opinion, <laughs> creepiest video in the countdown Crazy involves girl. a young woman who appears on a ring doorbell camera in extremely know, baggy crazy. clothes and a scarf covering her face. Even though concealed, the woman clearly is enjoying being captured on camera as her body language goes from a confident smirk to a more sinister tone of stalking the camera lens with her eyes. 
After staring down the lens and looking through the soul of the person on the other side, she puts on her sunglasses in the dark and cracks another smirk, followed by some tampering with the doorbell camera's buttons. When she is unable to successfully plug in the code to open the front door, she becomes more disinterested with the device and slowly creeps off camera, but not before making some hand gestures to the camera such as rock on and then randomly flashes the number three, then one. I originally thought she was using sign language, but after further research, it seems like she's just poking fun at the viewer on the other side and isn't really trying to communicate much. Many users believe this is a scorned and mentally unstable ex-girlfriend who is stalking their partner in retaliation to the relationship ending, and others believe it's just a deranged bag lady who wandered off the street and stumbled onto someone's front door. Either way, having someone linger around your home in such a sinister manner, no matter the circumstance, is very nerve-wracking and unsettling. Missed Connection This now viral video has been garnering an incredible amount of attention in the last couple of months. It involves a very disturbing and direct monologue recited by a then-unknown man when he steps onto a stranger's front door. The man is later identified as 40-year-old Christopher Sums, and the incident took place in a home in downtown Las Vegas. The man calmly walks up to the door after peering in through the glass and asks if the lady of the house is inside. The man then proceeds with a chilling declaration that he is looking for the woman inside the home so he can sexually assault and murder her. The man is dead serious and never breaks his direct tone of contact when having the conversation with the doorbell camera. Luckily, the man was arrested shortly after the incident and taken into custody. Well, you I because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? I, I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. But what? Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Yeah? Are you sure? Who are you? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to make her in favor. Do you have her open the door? I'm going to rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of this door when she lets me in. I, I want to rape her and kill her because I have a knife. Yeah, and I just, uh, I'm going to knock on her door again. All right. After identifying the man in this in a disturbing video that we've shown you, arrested for saying that he wanted to rape and kill a woman on a ring doorbell camera here in Las Vegas. Right now you're looking at 40-year-old Christopher Sums. Sums was set to have a hearing today, but court man, officials say he refused is, to be man. transported. Look at so that hearing was rescheduled. Now, the incident allegedly involving okay, so Sums happened last week at, home, at a home near downtown Las Vegas. The man was no recorded wife. by a ring doorbell camera knocking and peering okay, so inside of a home. Someone then asks him who he is, and he says he's looking for the girl in that home because he's going to rape, rape and, and kill, kill her. I'm sure Damn. you've seen that disturbing video by now. Sums Damn, is now so facing is several charges. Twice. Number five. Ride with me. Although it's much more common to capture a visitor walking up to your door on camera, this instance captures a potential kidnapping victim in real time as the plan of action unfolds. On Tuesday, November 12, 2019, at 11.39 p.m., a ring doorbell camera captured the guttural screams of a woman in distress in a Los Angeles suburban neighborhood. Many residents in the area were woken up by the woman's screams in the distance, and luckily, one of the neighbors had a ring doorbell camera to capture the exact moment when a speeding car was transporting the victim against their will. But the scariest part of this event is that there are no updates to the case. The most effort the police did on their part was to declare the woman in the video missing, but have not apprehended the suspect nor ever discovered who the identity of the screaming victim was. There is very little information as to who the identity of this woman is or what happened to her after this incident. Hi, Jeff and Susie. Yeah, the LAPD, they've been out here for hours. They are going door to door, knocking on everyone's doors out here, asking to see if they have ring doorbell video. Lots of ring doorbell cameras on this street. So they've been out here for hours just looking for more. A woman was heard screaming for help on a ring doorbell in Lamert Park Tuesday night. You can see the owners of the doorbell went outside to check out what was going on and then watched as a white hatchback appeared to drive off with the screaming woman. A neighbor who asked to remain anonymous heard the commotion. It was a little scary. It was kind of like if he was like attacking her and she was trying to like 
get out of his car, but he wouldn't let her. LAPD officers were seen going door to door on 3rd Avenue near Obama Boulevard, checking for more ring doorbell video. How An officer told us they don't know yet if this was a domestic dispute or something else. The neighbor heard a woman and man arguing. The guy was telling her something like, oh, I'm sorry. I told you I was sorry. And she just kept screaming for help. And, and then that's when he kind of like just took her and just drove off. Many neighbors are just now hearing about this incident, wondering if the woman lives on the street. The car that she was in, I've never seen it before. So we don't know who she was, if she was in the neighborhood, if someone was visiting her, we, we're not sure. Yeah, I don't know if it's a prank. What going on? Again, police do not know what this is all about. They're trying to figure out, was this a kidnapping? Was this a uh, domestic disturbance? What was this? That's why they are still out here trying to get to the bottom of it. Number six, oh, don't news. dream it's over. Since we're discussing the topic of victims being held against their will, the following video shows a similar theme. A woman in a robe is seen frantically knocking on a neighbor's door as the blurry lens of a ring cam captures her expressions of distress and fear. A few moments later, the pleas for help turn into screams as her abusive partner enters the frame and drags her off screen. Here's the video and accompanying news story involving the possible kidnapping. Sadly, there are multiple videos of this very type of interaction online, and many of them have even garnered national attention as they are downright uncomfortable and difficult to watch. Number seven, tweak or treat. I haven't seen this clip included in many compilations and involves a man who visited a random house in the Los Angeles area. On June 29, 2021, at 11.30 p.m., which seems crazy. to be a popular time when most of these encounters yeah, take place, we have a solicitor man. using a knife yeah, and driving stop. it in between the wedge of a front door and door frame. The man is clearly visible on Ring Cam's doorbell attempting to break into the home and the homeowner tries to repeatedly communicate with the man, but he was clearly preoccupied with the objective at hand. The homeowner then calls the police and they arrive to detain the suspect. The tables turn, however, when the man is released after technically not breaking any laws, according to some recent changes in the city's misdemeanor and felonies policies. A few hours later, the man was found completely naked after breaking into a nearby neighbor's apartment. The naked man, under the influence of some type of drug, was found with the drill in his hands and attempted to use it as a weapon before being arrested and detained in the back of the police vehicle, as seen in these news pictures and news stories. On June 29th, around 11.30 p.m., this man can be clearly seen on security video using what appears to be a metal blade, attempting to break into Cindy and Robert Hemingway's home. When I saw the knife, I was pretty freaked out. I mean, he was, you know, it's like Nightmare on Elm Street, the video. Cindy was home alone. Robert was out of town, but watching everything unfold through their ring security system. I said, Cindy, you got to call the cops immediately. She did, and she also decided to communicate with the man at her door, hoping to scare him away. Who is it? Um, this is a little guy. When LAPD officers arrived, Cindy showed them the video. The initial response was that the man who was still in the neighborhood would be detained. He matched the description, so since I already saw the video, I'll be able to better identify him. But after communicating with superiors, officers explained there would be no arrest. Due to the amount of time that he was doing it for and then immediately doing the, the ring camera, there's certain elements that we need to meet for a crime to take him in. Anybody that sees the reverse camera angle, if I showed 100 people that and said, what is this guy trying to do? They're all going to say he's trying to break into the house. The Hemingways were told about Prop 47, which reclassifies certain crimes from felonies to misdemeanors. Even the officers that night indicated that they, their hands were a bit tied because of the policies. So the man seen in this video was let go. A few hours later, he took off all his clothes and broke into this apartment, not too far away from the Hemingways. Desnudo, completamente desnudo. Jose Campos <laughs> Wait, says the, the naked man That's woke up crazy. his 12-year-old twins. No. He heard the commotion and confronted the intruder, who then grabbed a drill and began fighting with Jose. 
Todavía tengo dañada la mano, Carlos. And that's when I saw the guy naked with my dad fighting. We hid in my uncle's room, and I don't know. We would just hear noises and stuff, and it would be it was very scary. And Jose managed to capture yeah, pictures naked. of the naked man in the back of the police cruiser. You can see right here. He was completely naked. Now, can you imagine this man breaking into your home, attacking you with a drill, and all he ends up with is a charge of vandalism? Para mí no es un vandalismo eso. Para Jose says what occurred at his apartment isn't vandalism. He says it's a much more serious nigga. crime. The Hemingways fuck. agree. Ain't the guy against that bitch. Dropped his clothes, entered nude, yeah, I... and was caught inside, had a huge fight, uh, attacked the father with a power drill, Puss. and traumatized the family. And <laughs> they the used the We can't prove his intent. Oh, Chief Moore man. says this is the first I time he is hearing about these two cases. He promises mm. to launch an investigation. Home sweet home. A Reddit user named Syntax Error posted yeah, a short clip of an elderly woman holding a knife and laughing maniacally while walking up the doorsteps of a stranger's home. It appears that the lady is smiling but then has an expression of confusion come across her face, followed by more smiling as she waves the knife around in front of the camera. As frightening as this might appear, this is more than likely a woman suffering from dementia and is unaware of her surroundings or location. I understand how visually threatening this might appear to some people, but this seems to be more of a case of a mental decline rather than someone with sinister intentions. But you can decide for yourself what her motive was. I don't know, maybe not, but look at this lady. She can't be walking around at night time with no knife in her hand. Man, look at here, bro. This is America, bro. You can't be doing that. Who mama that is? But she need to be in the home, bro. Another one I bites the dust. Now taking a break from the more serious altercations in the video, we have this clip of a young woman who appears to be having some fun with a neighbor's oh, newly installed one. doorbell camera. She could also just be she drunk and passing scary, by when man. she notices the doorbell camera, no, but she begins making up, intentionally me. creepy and cringy gestures before pausing when she notices a car driving by. After the car leaves the area, she resumes her activity and leaves more than a minute worth of footage for the homeowner to watch back the following day. The funny part is that the user posted the video on their YouTube channel and commented that he thought the girl who trespassed was pretty cute. And I guess this could be a new way of meeting people in the virtual day and age. Honorable mentions. The last three clips don't require any type of introduction or description as most of them are very isolated and very brief instances of unexpected visitors in the middle of the night. They have either been covered endlessly in other videos or have no further information available regarding their origin. First being a man under the influence of some type of drug, knocking on random doorbell cams looking incredibly suspicious and run down, while the other two visitors put a lot more work into their appearance before making their ring cam debut. The reason I am not investing more time into the narration of these clips is because there isn't anything else to add or describe. They're just brief, one minute encounters that could have potentially been more dangerous than anticipated. Not to mention, most of these clips are more than likely a creative neighbor with an inventive imagination just looking to have fun. But you can be the judge. Oh. Oh. It's crazy, man. Y'all tripping. Man, I ain't got time for this shit, man. <laughs> Uh, y'all need help. Uh, man, look at this man. It's James. James? You know, told on yourself. Sorry. What? Uh, looked in one day and saw you naked. And, oh, God, I can't stop. You said what? You said you just go to ring cameras and go to talking to them. Y'all, see, y'all know y'all being recorded. Man. I'm gonna hook my shit up tomorrow. These people scam me. So this is what go. Y'all do like people house like this, like they don't got a ring camera? Y'all just. I ain't gonna put one on my house if it's gonna attract this shit. <laughs> Hell no, nah, baby crying. You going to the baby? Oh man, what the fuck? It's trick or trick. What is this? Yeah, I might not get no ring camera. This is this that shit attract shit like this. I rather not have no I just get regular camera and put that shit in the in the tree or some shit. The fuck y'all got going on? I don't even want nobody to see my cameras. 
You don't want to act up. Guy with the mask. 345. Man, he know that sleep time. What are you doing? That's death, man, man. Come on, bro. Man, don't be fuck around nobody house no down. Yes, this is scary. You why? Who, who? Who? Did they know you? Like, who the fuck that boy at three o'clock in the morning to go outside? <laughs> they where they living at? They come fuck with what the fuck? What is that in his hand? He got a notebook. That was a laptop. This first video was captured in the middle of the night in an apartment complex located in Toledo, Ohio. Same shit. The doorbell footage shows a man knocking on the front door with what looks like a firearm in his waistband. Uh, now, the owner of the apartment didn't recognize the man, so she would question who it was. The unknown man would simply respond with, it's me. The homeowner would then further question his response, but rather than clarifying, he would simply give a wave through the front door. With a book bag on, man. Me. Me. What? 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 you gonna do with, with me? She, if she, if she opened it up. This, however, would not be enough to get the homeowner to open it. So he would ultimately know, walk off. Disturbingly, as he yeah. does so, a second man pops Wait, up from bro. a nearby dumpster and also walks off. What you mean a second man? Is somebody else out there? What the fuck? But this wouldn't be the end of it. The two would then walk around to the back door where they would attempt to pick its lock. The police were called, and when they arrived, the two were gone. Fortunately, unsuccessful in getting the door open. It's not 100% clear what the two men had planned. The almost empty looking backpack of the first guy suggests they had planned to rob the place but it's also possible they had much worse intentions. The two of them have yet to be identified by police. Why he wave it off like that? Like, uh, you, you don't want to have In no May of fun. 2018, a woman would leave her parked shit. car that was just outside her house Bro, unlocked overnight. You don't know what was Not surprisingly, on that someone would find the unlocked car Maybe and proceed to steal multiple know. items that were owned by the woman. A few hours later, Man. the man responsible for the theft would be caught on the woman's doorbell camera attempting to use her set of keys that he had just stolen to unlock her house's front door. What you mean he stole the he stole he stole the pocketbook? And how how You know you don't care. This all took place while the house owner was home and sleeping. But luckily, the set of keys he had stolen didn't have a house key on it, so the guy just ended up walking off. Had the set of keys contained a house key, things most likely would have ended much differently. Boy. This doorbell camera footage was captured in Overland Park, Kansas in March of 2017. Shown in the video is a nearby active house fire. The home of the neighbor just across the street has been completely engulfed in flames. As the fire department arrives, neighbors can be seen desperately moving their parked cars away from the house. They was cooking though, right? That's what you did. They just on no on the the shit. They ain't waiting in the house or nothing. Eventually, a flaming piece of debris can be seen falling and landing on a set of bushes just in front of the camera. Bushes quickly burst into flames. The fire starts spreading quickly, but before it's able to get out of hand, a neighbor notices it and attempts to put it out. He grabs a garden hose and sprays the fire while pressing the house's doorbell. However, the owner of the house isn't home and frantically tries to communicate this through the doorbell's speaker. The fire truck the fire department went and on their own, tell y'all to move out of the way and just hit that bitch one good time. Hello, yes, I'm not there. Please put that out for me, please. I'm on my way home. Your house on fire! Yeah, I know, I'm on my way. Fire the door. That's somebody talking. Somebody's in the house right now. It's not okay. It's not okay. Yet, the fire department house. would be able to put out the house fire, and with the help from the neighbors, prevent it from spreading to nearby houses. On a 
night in September 2021, a homeowner would get a suspicious knock on his door at about 3 in the morning. Upon opening his phone and looking at his doorbell camera, he would see two what looked like teenagers identifying themselves as CPD, or Columbus Police Department. CPD? Columbus? How y'all know that ain't shit? How y'all know that? That could be Cincinnati or some shit. With a gun? CPD, open up. We need to ask you a couple questions. The video shows the man in the front clearly holding a firearm, and the house owner would eventually access the doorbell camera's speaker to further question him. Look at the background. That's about like Can I help you? Same, the same. CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. That's not the same, is it? I'm sorry. CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. May you please step to the front door, please? CPD. Yes, this is CPD. We would like you to step to the door, please. Can I see a badge? We would like you to step to the door, please, sir. I don't have to show you my badge, sir. The man refuses to show a badge because, well, obviously he doesn't have one. The homeowner knew what was going on, so rather than stepping to the door, he would call the real police department and report two armed men at his front door. After a couple of minutes, the two would once again attempt to get the homeowner to open the door. But after that failed, they would run off before the real police could show up. Could a police take hey, like you open the door? Thirteen thousand hours to get there. I got one around the corner. I bet if I call, it'll take them at least ten to fifteen minutes to get here, bro. The two were most likely just looking to rob the man when he opened the door. Money. If you run off, stop. I mean, it's possible they have worse intentions than mine. Minutes, There's just no way of knowing for sure. It's just that Both of them were never here. identified by police. <laughs> they don't want to get shit shit so I don't know. It's crazy. This footage was captured in Colorado in the middle of the night. The video shows three mountain lions appearing from the darkness and starting to walk around a set of houses. They were captured, even going as far as to walk up onto the porch of one of the houses. Man, feed them, man. They hungry. Cook food, Mountain lion sightings are known to be exceptionally rare in this specific area. Typically, they'll stay a lot further in the mountains where they have easier access to the deer that they prey on. To see them in an area with a lot of people, especially a neighborhood, is not at all common, at least in this area. The three cats would eventually walk off, but there's almost no doubt things would have gone differently had one of these homeowners left their pets outside for the night, or possibly were even outside themselves. That sound like they're trying to run from people. Shown in this doorbell camera footage is an unknown man wearing an oddly disturbing mask. As he walks up to the door, his motion alerts the camera to start recording. And that's when you can see him grab the door handle, realize it's locked, and hesitantly knock on the door. man would wait for only a few seconds before he would pull his sleeve over his hand and wipe off his fingerprints from the door handle before walking off. Around a minute later, the homeowner would come to the door and now see the man across the street sitting in a car. When she yelled out to him to see what he wanted, he would quickly speed off. The homeowner would later state that she had no idea who this man could have been or what he was doing there but the fact that he removed his own fingerprints from the door handle suggests that he had most likely given them to the police at some point. It's not completely unreasonable to conclude that this man had some sort of criminal record. Something else of note is the somewhat heavy object that can be seen weighing down his front pocket. It's not clear what this is, and more importantly, it's not clear who this man is. The mask would ultimately make it impossible for police to identify both the man's identity and his intentions. That's crazy. This doorbell footage was like recorded just name. before 4 a.m. Like on the night in August 2020. Oh, the video what? captures an unidentified man walking into the house and emptying a gas container over the yard and front porch. 
Shortly after he disappears off screen, a large fire erupts just in front of the camera. He said somebody had some fire? Oh, that's fucked up. But that's fucked up, bro. He ain't had to do no one would be injured bro. during the incident. However, unfortunately, two houses and a vehicle would be damaged. The homeowner would claim to have no idea who could be responsible, or who would even consider doing this to them. That's an insurance At least from an outside perspective, the act looks completely random, with seemingly no reason behind it, making the clip all the more unsettling. Insurance claim, man. Yeah, police. The homeowner in Texas would wake up one morning to find the gate into his backyard wide open. Curious, the man would review the cameras he had around his house, and this is the sign he was met with. That's a, that's a knife. That's a knife. A man holding a knife and in a clown costume, complete with a suit and mask, casually walks around the property, looking inside the house and testing all the doors. He ain't even holding this shit down, man. That nigga got this shit pointing out with it and all that shit. Like, he's just like... What the fuck he got going on? Man, Hollywood, Hollywood, what y'all done did to these people, bro? I would, man, I, I'm not gonna say that. Man, come on, man, y'all, boy, man, look at him. Look at him, man. That shit is not cool, bro. This would all, of course, take place in 2016, during that sort of killer clown craze that went on for a few months. Okay. okay. Looking back, most people that participated in that were most likely just having fun trying to scare people. But there's no denying that others took advantage of the situation, genuinely attempting some pretty horrible crimes hidden under a clown mask. I remember with that this likely being one of those cases. It's clear the person in the costume is actually trying to break into the house with a knife. Though, after being unsuccessful, well, the clown would eventually walk off. And despite a police report, that would be the end of it. You know I say? I don't know if Ultimately, the, the homeowner would be left with nothing but this disturbing footage. Man, we kill each other enough, I don't think. I don't want nobody to come here and be like, have like, you know what I mean? Like, a direction for their anger and, and shit and, re, and, and craziness. What? Well, I know I'm gonna direct my craziness to. Yeah, it's a lot. Man, look at this. Imagine this, man. You see the purge? All of the purges happen in America. Imagine it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Imagine it, well, I ain't gonna lie, I'd be a lot of scary ass niggas though. Imagine they say it's, it's, it's fair game, go outside and just shoot motherfuckers. What? They're like they preparing motherfuckers for it now anyway. That would be seeming like rap, be preparing motherfuckers for war. Oh, y'all ever come to America, we is gonna shoot you. I'm telling you, like, big bro, like, big, listen here. I don't know about the long distance. You gotta work on the long distance, but close range, hey, we, 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 we getting, getting that down pack for the most part. <laughs> for the most part, we getting that down pack. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, that's crazy. But shit. Like, shit. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about them clowns and shit, man. Look, hey, uh, I don't know whether to tell y'all to get a, a ring doorbell or not, man. It helped for the for the fire dude, the dude with the fire. He was on the way home. I mean, by the time he got there, he probably would have been burnt up <laughs> for the most part. I would have been mad if the fire truck, if the neighbors wouldn't have did nothing and the fire department let that shit, like, go big after they got there, I would have been like, come on, T. Like what the fuck, like y'all? Like, this fire here got y'all so distracted, y'all don't see other fires going. Like, that's part of y'all's job, bro. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It's... But, like I said, y'all stay safe, stay away from them clowns and shit. Um, I've been going hard today. As you can see, as you can see, I'm kind of tired. I ain't gonna tell y'all what time it is, but shit, rookie of the year status is what it's gonna be. It way deeper than y'all can see. I'm telling you, other people just don't understand. 
But we gonna get in at it. And uh, shit, y'all stay safe, man. Go buy you a fire on. You know what I mean? Buy your love on the fire on. All y'all stay safe out that bit. You feel me? Like shit. I don't know, man. It's getting crazy out here. I don't know. I'm not going to sleep tonight, so I go to sleep when the sun come up. <laughs> yeah. Man, these motherfuckers crazy, boy. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. Three o'clock at, and then the dude talking about she cute. Yeah, she cute, but she ain't three o'clock in the morning showing up to my house cute. Like the fuck, she do that to your house when you don't even fucking know her. So imagine when you do get to know her. Man, bro, that shit, man, look at her. We out. Peace.